Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wiseant, and I'm answering a question submitted by a student. I'm going to save a little bit of time here and uh, just show you a graph of the constraints for this linear programming question. This is a pretty easy one because linear programming questions typically are word problems that can take quite some time to set up the constraints and develop the objective function, but here, Everything's being done for you. Linear programming is typically uh, covered in Algebra 2. It has a lot of practical value. It's mostly used uh, in manufacturing and also can be used in um, uh, econo uh, economic or financial kinds of things. It has a wide range of uses, actually. So we begin by... Uh, graphing the constraints. X has to be between 1 and 7. And you can see the X, these are the X, the X equals 1 here. That's that line here. And then this line here is X equals 7. So we have to be in between these two purple looking lines. Y greater than 2. So we have to be above this line, this bluish line, Y equals 2. We have to be above it. So right away we have to be between these two purples and above the blue. And then this last one, it might be easier for you to read. If I try uh, just restating it, it'd be x plus 3 would be greater than or equal to y. And what that gives us is the green line. You see the green line? as a slope of one, and you can see that's the slope, the invisible one here, and it has a y-intercept of three, and so it just goes from here to here, and we wanna be below the line, because uh, let's say if you wanted to pick um, zero comma two here, uh, zero plus three is three, and three is bigger than two, and so you wanna be below the line. So our the region that we're interested in over here is really um, this this point. It's going to be de um, defined by this point over to this point here, all the way up to this point here, and then down here. So it's almost a triangle. It's like a triangle with a piece cut off the, the tip over here. So what we do is we, we make, uh, we just organize the table as instructed here, but this is typically what you would do. You just write down the uh, points of intersection for these corners. So this first point would be, um, this is, two comma zero right this is no sorry one comma zero so this is one comma zero i'm just getting used to the scale here so this is going to be one comma sorry one comma two right so it's one comma two so x i'm going to make an x and a y and a z here which is going to be equal to, this is our objective function. This is what we want to maximize or minimize. And so I said 1, 2. So there's a 1 and a 2 here for that corner. This corner is going to be 1, 4. This corner up here looks like 7, 10. And then this one looks like 7, 2. So those are our four corner points. Sometimes the corner points are not so easy to see on a graph, in which case you're going to have to use some algebra to actually find the exact coordinates of the corner points. But uh, everything on this 
problem is, is uh, set up in a nice, easy fashion. So let's uh, look at our objective function z, 3x minus 2y. So it's going to be 3 minus 4, so that would be negative 1. And then 3x would be 3 minus 8, 3 minus 8. So that's going to be negative 5. And then 3 times 7 is 21 minus 20. It's going to be 1. 3 times 7 is 21 minus 4. So it would be 17. And we don't know which point to choose because we haven't told, we haven't been told whether we want to make the objective function a maximum or a minimum. So if if the objective function represented profit, for example, we'd want the maximum. If objective function represented cost, cost of manufacturing, we would want to make that a minimum. And we're, I think, because this uh, student clipped off. There's a part C here. And that got clipped off. So my guess is um, that's where we would be told whether we want to um, make we want to minimize or maximize this objective function. So your answer would be um, if you wanted the maximum, that's here. If you wanted the minimum, this would be the minimum here. So I can't tell you which one because the uh, part C got clipped off, but uh, that's basically it. Um, it's very simple to do uh, mechanically. It should be simple for you to do this uh, mechanically if you've learned to graph inequalities. And um, really the hard part is setting up the constraints and the objective functions. So you're gonna need a lot of practice with those because those are word problems, but uh, we didn't have to deal with that here. This was a nice easy one. Okay, so that's it for this problem. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.